So I booked a flight to Toronto, right? Go yes. on, continue. But Why it, would you be going to Toronto, Zach? Uh, am I allowed to say? <laughs> I don't know. Some, am I allowed to make, say? Can you make some know. if you're I, top not secret? Sure. Very, if I can. Top secret, I very important business. It is very important, but it's very count the dings business. Um, but it it only let me pick my seats for the returning flight, and said we're using a different carrier for your flight there. You can pick your seats after booking. Well, I done booked. I done booked. I done which, booked. And which airline? Uh, United. Uh, uh, it was the cheapest one. Yeah, that wasn't Spirit. Not after you upgrade your seat. Well, so I pick. I I did upgrade a couple of seats on the way back, but it you know totaled like fifty dollars between the two flights. Also, apparently, you can't get a direct flight back for any kind of decent money. I don't. Want, oh my god, uh, my flight rant. That's, I'm I'm ready for it when you guys are. Uh, I'm yeah, ready. Like, th- no, this Let's is gonna. Go. Set it, yeah, this. But yeah, like I, why why do this? Why do this? I hate this. Just make it. Why why does it have to be so difficult? But you also, know, why like, are you going is, to Toronto? Or did we decide don't, we don't know? I, I legitimately don't know if I'm allowed okay. to say. Yeah, right. I don't know either. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> That's a Something. couple of teas for it when is, we it, finally it, are allowed to say. People will eventually know. Uh, pretty soon. I mean, it would have to be pretty soon because I'm going there for <laughs> oh, <in> two weeks. <laughs> something I can talk about right mm. now mm. is that on Monday... The Count the Dings merch store will be back what? up and operational. What? That's right. You will be able to get BOMM merch. You'll be able to get Count the Dings merch. You'll be able to get you're, Cinephobe merch. You're going to want this new bomb merch. That we you're going to want this you're gonna want very this? special, very topical, fresh off the presses, BOMM Merch spectacular. It might have something to do with a little someone flick on of the count wrist. the dings, maybe you know, with some injuries and some excuses piling up over time. I no idea who you're talking about. Could you? No, I mean, no clue. Could be anybody? Yeah. yeah. No one. No one. Well, has Trey, this up Trey, at all. Trey has a bunch of injuries, but he doesn't make That's excuses. I have true. a bunch of injuries. I don't make excuses. Me too. I have a bunch of injuries. I don't ever talk yeah, about them. You don't yeah. Make, you don't make excuses. Uh, Waz, I don't think has any injuries, so he doesn't qualify there. He's never Maybe gotten he's hurt healthy. once in his life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Jerv's pride, just high. His pride is invincible. Yeah. Hmm. Jerv's biggest injury is. Of being a Philadelphia sports fan for the most part. Yeah, that's part. true. Actually, that's pretty. That, that he actually, carries that's worse. Joel Embiid's injuries with him wherever he <laughs> that's goes. Worse. But yes. And also a very exciting Cinephobe limited edition merch that actually looks spectacular. I'm really excited for this one. It's in honor of the great Carl Weathers, the Count of Monte Fisto. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if you're a Patreon, there will be a message distributed to all Patreons. If you are not a Patreon, Go to the at Count the Dings Twitter and Instagram. We'll be posting that update there. Very excited. Limited edition merch, constant merch, but merch in general is back. We did it. We did it. There will also be ongoing cinephobe ideas. We've got a lot of ideas in the tank. Shout out to Mark Ordner. Mm-hmm. And his creativity. We've got some very exciting <laughs> potential future merch things. You know, um, someone once again not going to name names. Someone account the dings might might really like chimpanzees. You never know. Look, man. Uh, who could? I mean, nobody knows who that could be. No one knows. But that, look, why? I, I I'll, I'll just say this. You know, in in no way informing anybody who that who that might be. Why wouldn't you like chimpanzees? So they're fucking great. You know, chimpanzees are dope. Yes, yes. So they're one of the may funnest may animal to go see at the zoo. Let me let me share some uh, some AI art with Eden here. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, this is, oh um, Do I want to see this AI art? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This, is un- this is unfortunately our new thing. Okay. Also, can we? What is this? Mid Journey Dolly. Where? Which gen? Uh, it's Instagram. 
They okay. Instagram yeah, DMs. Yeah, yeah. You can, yeah, you okay. can DM Fuck. Instagram. Oh man, what do I even begin to show you? Yeah, I, I'm scared of how big this Zach AI folder is at this point, and they're all chimpanzee related. Interesting, but, but not because he's the one who likes chimpanzees. No, 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 no. He's doing okay. this to send it to somebody else. I'm just, I mean, I'm just going to because Zach as as is a team player, and he sends people content that he knows that they will like. Exactly. Thank you. He's like an, an honest, like an like a yeah, Ali, like an honest podcaster would. Mm-hmm. So there we go. So they're they're going to the mailbag chat. Fantastic. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Eden, the you want to describe for so the people cute. yeah what you're seeing here all right yeah. so first up we have the a chimpanzee as the statue of liberty mm-hmm. it is the statue of liberty um as a chimpanzee so <laughs> you know, that one, that one's pretty straightforward for picturing yeah. Yeah. we have a chimpanzee climbing the eiffel tower now this one at a glance, it looks great, but I think if we get into the weeds, it actually doesn't Terrible. look like he's holding on it's to bad. anything. It's yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> also, not to scale. I, that's a massive chimpanzee if that's... Right. We got some perspective go- thing going on. Yeah. Um, it's definitely... This is probably the easiest one to pick out as definitely mm-hmm. generative AI so mm-hmm. far out of two. Um, the picture of the monkey as a janitor, honestly, this could pass for for real. Pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty I, good, yeah. I have no complaints with this one. Um... The only thing I would say is maybe the size is I'm confused about the scaling. Is that a real broom? Um, yeah. Monkey size. It's also size not a short brooms. Right. Right. That's true. It's just a monkey. So that one's, yeah. that one's very convincing though. No complaints about this one. Mm-hmm. Picture of monkey at a bar. Okay. I love this guy. Now let <laughs> me tell you this a little backstory. I initially said monkey bartender. And they said, sorry, mm. we can't do that. Oh, okay. But then you look at this. <laughs> this dude's serving a beer. He's behind the bar. He's not yeah. at the bar. He's behind right. the bar. He's yeah. behind the bar. But look at this, the the composition of this one. Like the I bouquet uh, in the background, like yeah. the focus. Like, yeah. This the one's side nice. Lighting. The lighting. Look at the side yeah. lighting. Side lighting. Is, his, yeah. It's a good one. His fur, you know? Even, even like out into the window in the back, you got like city lights going on, like the details. Mm-hmm. And this one, I, I, I like this one. Very mm-hmm. generative AI win, wins this round. All right, next up. Okay, chimpanzee on the bed with rose <laughs> that, petals. That side did a lot of work there. <laughs> yeah, it was... <laughs> Now we're getting into some some weird <laughs> Zach territory, you know. You, you wanted you to mean? skip this one, Eden. Let's just skip this one. Let's go to this one mean? instead. Oh, weird, weird Zach ter- territory. Hmm. All right. Well, chimpanzee bulldozing the Great Wall. Now this is. <laughs> Eden said that like now this I can get into. This is a <laughs> big ass monkey. Like, uh, I was going to say now a... this is something, you know, because it's yeah. like one of those things you say when you don't actually have a response or anything mm-hmm. to say, where you're like, wow, yeah. this is something, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Huge monkey well, this or is small was... bulldozer? <laughs> That's a it great question. Like, I guess it I looks like a tiny bulldozer. Tall, I don't know how tall the sides are of the Great Wall. I've never been wall. to the Great Wall. Yeah. I think it looks like a mini bulldozer. If maybe, it does. maybe, but it is I, a I might be off on the perspective at the same time. Right? Yeah, yeah the monkey's jacked. Yeah, he's um, why, yeah. Why does he have to be so so muscular to? To just operate. Well, he, he's in construction. He's in construction. So he's, okay, you know, he's probably fair. doing more than yeah. just operating bulldozing. I'm sure he fair, does. Fair, he's fair. A, a, he's a lot of beef jerky and protein bars. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Question, oh, though. Like, question, question while we're yeah. on this. Yeah. Uh, how does he seem to be between two great walls? Is that because he bulldozed through? What are you talking about? The gap? Well, there's a, <laughs> there's a great wall on the left, and there's also a great wall on the right. Well, it's no, but you walk. Wall. You walk in the middle. Yeah, that's just like a, like he's in the walkway right now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. My question, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach, was mm-hmm. how did you come up with this prompt? So, th- so <laughs> this same, was same note too, Eden. This yeah. was <laughs> what? What did the Great Wall do to se- you? Or th- this was seven thirty this morning. I uh, woke up, started checking my phone. Yeah, let's not got, investigate the timing of it. Got the Keep idea. The story. For some reason, I woke up. I get on my phone, reading text or whatever. And for some reason, uh, I might have accidentally opened up the Cinephobe chat or something. And and not that there were, I don't think there was anything in there that would have prompted this, but it, it kicked off in my, I was like, oh, 
chimpanzee is the Statue of Liberty. Something I can't remember what I looked at, but something okay. I was half awake, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like sort of like Zach coming out of the subconscious. He might yeah. have, might have opened the cinephobe chat, which Who God knows, knows what's in yeah. there. So you know, yeah. a lot of terrifying and so things. Did that? Then I was like, oh, you know, it'd be great, like King Kong climbing the Eiffel Tower, but they're not going to do King Kong because they won't do like specific name thing. Like we tried to, right, I tried to do a lot right, of right, right. and stuff and they said, mm, can't do it. No. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, chimpanzee climbing the Eiffel Tower. And then they give me that awful one. I was like, all right, this sucks. Then I think I did, I think I did another one that I forgot to screen grab. Oh yeah. I did uh chimpanzee as the sphinx here i'll send that one to you oh okay <laughs> that, was, that one just got missed the cut the first yeah, time oh, yeah i don't know why i screenshot that <laughs> i've got so um, many chimpanzee ais you know it's just it's yeah. hard to keep track oh yeah wow. that was between how Eiffel can Tower. you forget this one I don't know. Wow, look Zach, again it was early it was early that's okay, the fair, winner fair, fair. yeah uh, that's and the then, winner right and so there, then I was man. on, a, I was on like a, you know, wonders of the world kick, mm-hmm. but I also was like, I was like, Oh, I kind of want like a chimp doing construction, but I mean, it's gotta be like big, right? Like it's gotta be, it's gotta be something good. And I was like, well, what about if it was like bulldozing the Sphinx? And I was like, no, 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 bulldozing the great wall. I got to move on to another wonder of the world. And then, so that just happened to be, okay. Yeah. All right. Quick question. Look at this man. He's got a double belly button right here. The Sphinx. He does, yeah. That's why we can't look at generative there. AI images too closely. You you want to like yeah, kind of be yeah. like... <sighs> you got to squint at it. It's got to be but like... Through, let's be fair. From like let's 10 be fair. feet away, it looks fantastic. If I told you, hey, back in the day these chimps were regarded as gods. They were turned into Sphinx, right? Like obviously all those chimpanzees, yeah, yeah. And, you know, in, in, in the Cleopatra days. Um, and, and the ones that were the most godly actually had these birth defects that were double be- belly buttons. Oh, it sounds God. believable, right? God, and that's does. why they were so revered. Yeah. It's, yeah. And it's like some sort of like from. evolutionary thing that now it's just yeah. down to the single belly just button. Need the but, one. but it's like the mm-hmm. demigods had two, but just mm-hmm. the, the regular old the non demigod monkeys just only have one belly button now. And yeah. that's a little thing I like to call evolution. Mm-hmm. I gotta I gotta I had another idea that I gotta <sighs> get into this chat here. Let's see what it what it comes up with. It's, it's so exciting a, when the bubbles come up the dots. It's you know? a tough situation <laughs> when you've got Zach running point and Eden flawlessly oh, running the three on. person weave. Hold Uh-oh. on, this oh, is no. a good one. No. This is a good no. one. Yeah. No, no, no. This no. You're gonna be happy with this. <laughs> no, you're not. gonna be happy with this. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> what are no, we this doing? One is great. This one is great. This one is great. <laughs> what is this? My man is levitating. And I love how like in the back, I'm pretty sure that's just supposed to say dodge, but like they just threw a T, extra T on at the end. Yeah. It's like, a budget, yeah. they, like, budget dodgeball facility. <laughs> yeah. They, well, they, they, they couldn't want... afford the extra letter. <laughs> no, it's just like, you know, it, it's a company called Dodge It and it's professional dodgeball center. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what's going there on. All right. Go. So so Zach, also some short shorts on this on this chimp, you know? Yeah. Let's let's break it down though. We've got no it's real understanding backpack? of the layout of the dodgeball court here. It's it looks a free like a free for all. all. And then we've got one person in the blue with some some messed up glitchy arms. But yeah. is that person what team is he on? Because like, I feel is he like, on yeah. a third team. Is he a ref? Is he a ref? Because he has extra arms. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know he what's going be. on. Yeah. <laughs> also, I like that the the chimpanzee is throwing the dodgeball right at us. At the camera. Yeah. Oh, see, I think this is what I think's happening. I think the chimp just caught it and is showing his teammates, "Hey, uh, come back in." Okay. I just look got at Katie's, Katie's, look at Katie's reaction. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome, Katie. We got the training. Where did you get this right picture there? of me? welcome to the friday mailbag it's friday and we've just been killing time till katie got here because we have a very exciting development in the mailbag community the extended mailbag universe at large and that is we got a sexy johnny update oh jesus 
Christ. <laughs> I, for, I forgot already. Yeah, I was like, what is this doesn't sound like a ramp up to my air flights rant. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought we were doing, I was just about to type in the chat, did we do Eden Flight <laughs> rant? And I fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Space now? Because I now we'll, I started. We'll, we'll I, we'll we'll we were talking like, about flights. She just wanted this whole this whole rant, and I don't remember a word of it. i was, like, I got real. I was about to apologize to. Her. I mean, we'll have to, we'll have to circle back for the Eden flight I'm, rant. I'm fine doing the sexy Johnny as like Patreon or something like that. If we're doing that, oh, you want to you want to put the paywall? That's, that's how sexy mm-hmm. it is. Yeah, patreoncom slash the dings. I mean, right, if I'm being honest, Sexy Johnny does feel like Patreon content. It does look, like. especially with. Let me tell you, with this motherfucker, <laughs> this this dude is a menace, a menace. I mean, based on just what we already know, I'd agree with that. You know nothing. I knew <laughs> nothing. Like, I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ, this guy, exhausting, exhausting. But I would rather hear Eden's flight rant now and let's right. save sexy johnny for later that's a little thing called a tease yeah to, uh, sexy johnny tease and marketing and i'm actually piggybacking off of zach's earlier mini flight rant that's right where mm-hmm. he talked about the inability to find direct flights from oh. major cities right like i live in new york you guys i don't know if you've brought this up enough like the fact that i i live in new york now no, right? we spend a lot of time talking about how you go to london yeah for work. i know we, sorry, don't, I mean, we don't talk enough about how you <laughs> yeah. live in new york city Maybe, or state eden so i both? live in brooklyn so i think that's technically okay. part of new york city one of the yeah. five boroughs i don't live upstate i'm not in syracuse i'm not in uh, that that's the only thing i can name joe burrows um, <laughs> But okay, New York is a, a what? Major US city, maybe the most populated one, major international hub of America. Everyone knows New York City. Tell me why it is so to impossible it. to find direct flights to another major US city called Las Vegas. Mm. Like, do y'all know how many That's- people live in New York that would want to travel to Las Vegas regularly? Just yeah. sheer volume, are just talking about volume here. New York people should, there should be so many direct flights back and forth to Vegas, from Vegas to New York. They are damn near impossible to find I for less than one grand. I can fly to London for cheaper, direct to London for cheaper than it is for me to fly direct to Las Vegas and back to New York. It's insane. Like, I'm just like, these are two, I mean, Vegas is more just like a place people want to go in general. Yeah. Like, now, so, could this be a, a LaGuardia versus JFK situation? No, okay, it gets even worse, Zach. <laughs> so the thing is, the most, like, I found the most number of reasonable, reasonable, like, flight times mm-hmm. going into fucking EWR, Newark. Then, then, what? To, then to LaGuardia or JFK. Well, okay. how are there more meaningful flights and, and more reasonable times going into Newark, which defeats the entire purpose of like it being convenient? Because like, if I have to then travel from New Jersey back to Brooklyn, then that's like, mm. a, that's like a basically a connecting flight. Like, I mean, when I might are, as well just like, just like, you know, connect through Charlotte or something. Like, when are we, when are we going? In, What's in the a time month. frame? In a April, month. Sorry, April, so yeah. Like, so it's so for, April. It's for NAB. It's it's a. So let's just say April. Now. I'm just trying to get like, you know. Yeah. Like here. look up any like there, there's just like, and and also all the flights back are red eyes. It's it's like if I don't want to take a red eye, it is upwards of a, a grand. Now you got to get out of Vegas in the morning. You can't like you can't spend the rest of no. the day there. And exactly. then I'm not out. even kidding. That's... Listen, the red eyes are the only ones that are like under a thousand dollars. Anything like at like seven a.m. No flights. I'm it looking... doesn't make any sense. No flights. It makes no sense. I'm just like New York, Las Vegas. You would think that yeah. there are many people traveling between New York and Las Vegas. Just the sheer amount of bachelors that go to Las Vegas for bachelor parties or boys' weekends. That there are many, many of these yeah. flights available. Are they assuming and, people are going to Atlantic City? Uh, yeah, that can't be. All, I, all I'm seeing yeah. is is JetBlue and Delta. Yeah, and like the Delta ones, just like the six reasonably- a.m. or five p.m. for yeah. JetBlue, and then Delta <laughs> is eight eight a.m. or four thirty p.m. or seven p.m. I legitimately shouldn't have access to the internet. No, I, you like, shouldn't. I just, I just, <laughs> oh, no. like, what did is... you do now? 
What, is, what, what, neon, what neon sign have you found? He's been no. sidebarring his yes. Instagram Zach, bestie. Zach, yeah. combine your two loves. <laughs> AI, a chimpanzee neon sign. Oh, Post haste. Good idea. Yeah, good he, idea. That, that got him right up. That got throw him right one. up. Throw, the, throw this one on the screen. I'm up. working on this. it. Why is it a double picture? Why is it a double picture? Because it's telling that. a story, Zach. Yeah. It's telling a story, okay? I got to send this to a mean. Also, these are these are two different guys. It's is one this? guy. Yeah, those is are different. Mm -hmm. And the other guy's going through security. One guy, guy looks guy like observing? he runs the top. The guy in the top looks like he runs airport security, and the and the chimpanzee in the bottom cell looks like he's See, going. I through think you guys security. got it wrong. I think guy on the top made it through airport security, right? The mm. guy, the the next chimp. He's the one smuggling for the both of them. Yeah. And he was yeah. like, you're going to get through. No uh, problems. And look what's happened. Two uh, security officers. Say, Hold talk, on a second. Can we talk about whatever the layout is of this bench yeah. in the middle of nowhere got, where he's it, dropped his bag? Got, yeah. Is oh, that I thought supposed that was to be a rolling the conveyor cart. belt? Yeah. I think it's a rolling cart. Yeah. What the fuck is going? That's not what security is like. That's a little smart <laughs> cart. Hovering over the floor. Yeah. yeah it is, <laughs> is hovering. Jesus. Yeah, the the one in the top is very concerned, Zach. Very concerned. Yeah, he, like he cuz he knows the the jig is up. This is just such an interesting cinematic Careful. like creative decision. Yeah, that was a that, close one. That one. Yeah. I'm I'm with you, Katie. He was yeah. flirting with disaster on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, me? Eden, I hear yeah, you. Yeah, you, buddy. I and and Newark, how how inconvenient is it to get to Newark? It adds, it, it's two hours for me to get there, basically. Jesus Christ. No, okay, yeah, Newark, because it's about an hour to get to Penn Station, and then an hour, it, it's not that long, but, like, the their trains don't run every 20 minutes. Like, they run, like, once an hour or something. So it's, like, you, there, it's not, there's no way to, like, efficiently streamline that process. And Newark is basically, I mean, it's a whole might as well be five states away like to get an uber like it'll be so expensive and like Crazy not expensive and it's Holy not even going to be faster it's not even going to be faster is the thing like the slow like the faster option is to take the train to the other train to get home but like that's like i said it is adding on a whole other city like stop i might as well just get yeah. a layover at that point and like go straight to LaGuardia mm. or jfk like it just doesn't make any sense why is it newark like yeah, I'll bet you that I'll bet you you're better off doing like New York to Chicago and then. So Chicago I was able to, to get Vegas. a direct flight there. I had to book, I had to get a connecting flight. It is also a red eye, which I was just like, mm. I'm going to want to die when mm -hmm. I get home. Yeah. Like, and so it's like, I'm going first to Seattle and then I have a 40 minute layover Ugh. and then I Seattle to New York. Oh. No. Like no. that ended up being the most, like, the most, most, like uh, the, price, price the only thing, and like yeah, the only thing that's like a little bit okay about that is you get extra miles, uh, but not enough to like, lots of uh, miles. Yeah. yeah, not enough to where it's like fuck yeah, I'm so happy I'm going through this inconvenience. Yeah, like that's, oh, that's bad. And, and, and after, you're right, you're right. Yeah. It's New York and Vegas. That's what I'm just saying. Everybody goes to the most. It's like, not like I'm talking about going from Little Rock or even New Orleans anymore. Like right. this is New York. Like <laughs> no. I'm not. Oh, the, hold on, the PTSD in that voice there. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> She's seen some shit. She's had some flight yeah. issues in the past. She's folks. had some issues. It wasn't there, always yeah, just New sure. York to London for our girl Eden. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. sure wasn't. Used to be a lot Thank tougher you. than that. Thanks for indulging me, though. Y'all really had to get that out. Like, I'm just like, it just mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense to me. No, it and it's doesn't. like one of those things that's just like, it's hard for me to accept because it just does not seem to make sense. Speaking of. Yeah. Well, this isn't a transition. Whatever. I'm just going to read the question don't make now. Sense. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. It, it does make sense, actually. So not a great transition by me, but that's fine. We're going to go to Deli Platter's question, which is, would, and this is a trap. Would you eat a bad meal your significant other made if it meant not making them feel bad? Oh, have. Yes. I have in the past. Yeah. Like. So what, what does that mean, mm -hmm. though? Like, are you like, it's like, edible? They never cook Is it edible? Before? Yeah. Is it edible? And they just cook like, for you once. Like, I'm let's not going to get a that stomach it's fine. After. Let's say it's okay. not like it toxic terrible. or terrible, but it's like it's it's 
but it's one of those things where they're looking at you like it's good, right? Do they also actually think it's good? Do they really believe it, or is it now like they into psychology? In, in my in my case, yeah, they, they did. did know that it was not they, good. No, they thought it was good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, Anton, and, what about uh, you? Yeah, it was not. Um, I don't think so, because then you're going to have to eat it again. And how many times you're going to have to do the same lie about the same bad thing? But how often do you think you're getting that? I mean, yeah. I, well, what was I, the meal? I guess you like you it, remember. Like, oh, me? Like, me? Yeah. Like, was it something difficult to make? Like, or is it something no, that it was it was um, uh, what is uh, like a chicken schnitzel? Yeah, well, because I Perfect. see Katie's point then, because it's like if you lie and say it's good. Yeah. And it's something that's relatively but, easy for them oh, to whip up. What had to happen was just me all the time going like, oh, I'll cook tonight. I'll cook, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's every anniversary I'm making his favorite schnitzel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he loves this. Yep. The way you said that, Katie. <laughs> he gave it such a glowing endorsement that I have to run the yeah. schnitzel back Ooh. weekly. Yeah, don't do it. Now, now, there was a time don't spin this was the a block on the schnitzel. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no, do not do that. What is no, that, what that mean? You're not here with us right now, but don't spin the block on the schnitzel. Uh, <laughs> I did have a girlfriend title, who was an amazing the episode? most dead. <laughs> um, where she was an amazing cook, and so it was like everything was just like unbelievable, right? But um, but this one was it helped me become a better cook because <laughs> I cooked a lot more yeah. often Survival. than I you got the probably would have. Yeah. 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 I, I would probably not if I'm being honest, because like I, I have one of my core values is to not waste calories on anything that isn't like delicious. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. unless it's like a vegetable that I know I like need uh, to eat to like, I'll, you know. I'll say this. Um, and it's, this isn't a, a poor us kind of thing, but, um, a little easier for a woman to take that stand than a man. Okay, that's also fair. In a relationship. I, th I think that's fair. I, yeah. I think that's fair. I, yeah. I, I, I would but, say that that is fair. exercise that right when you've got it. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't, don't waste those calories on shit that you're not loving for sure. Yeah, I think you can I be just, honest in a nice way. Because yeah. I don't want someone to tell me and not have to... Because you know. I agree. Because like, I feel like I've never made something that I thought was so good and like... Like if I'm asking someone and I'm like, no, it's like, I know it's bad. Like I just, yeah. I, I guess it's hard for me to understand someone being like actually legit thinking that something they made is good when it's objectively not. Cause uh, I just, I, I mean, I can, I'm not going to lie. Like, layer. Yeah. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. They, they were uh, from a different country with different food standards for mm, what's gotcha. good and what's not good. Oh. Oh, oh, they were mm, from down under. That's an international mm, game. I didn't say anything. I'm just telling you they were from a different From country. somewhere. So just uh, different oh, standards. Oh, oh, oh. Where, where oh, bacon oh. is not cooked. Where bacon is not cooked. Paul Bowen, you had a rookie. I don't know where they cook bacon. They don't cook bacon. I just tell you this was... But what was best. the question, though? Was it, will you still eat it? Or will you give the feedback that it? it's not good? Yeah, that's a good would question. Would you eat it? To, n to not make them feel bad. Absolutely. You're eating it, right? Yeah, I'm eating it. Yeah. Yeah. You, sure. may, you may be like, next like I would time. try one Look. bite. Yeah. But what, what time, you're going to get into. So what this made me think of was the fact that my mom uh, busted her ass to cook dinner for me, you know, most nights as a kid. Yeah. And as a child, I did not realize that her cooking acumen was, let's say, not very developed. So we are talking turkey yeah. meatloaf. We are talking bobbly pizza. We are talking oh, frozen. Bobbly pizza was disgusting. Disgusting. We are talking. Oh, my, my, mom, my mom would make. My mom's a good cook. She would do the bobbly every once in a while. It was like a ready made like you made your own pizza but it was all like it was all in a package from the store it Aww. it's it's not there's it's like a sauce partially nasty, cooked the crust yeah the dough was nasty that you essentially yeah, like cover cooked. with yeah. shit and and pop in the oven so it's it's a step i don't know i don't know it's like a in between like a frozen Stouffer's pizza frozen and like pizza. a like a pizza crust that you would you know a raw pizza crust um we're talking frozen swordfish fillets 
doused in teriyaki sauce and broiled. Uh, wow. We are. We, it was a weird lineup. Okay. <laughs> And we were talking. Andy's mac and cheese. Yeah. Andy's mac, mac and cheese was the safe one, right? She could make <laughs> that easily. Uh, Hard yeah, to fuck well, that up. Although Jay King, that did, up. Make his, if you Jay King that, did make then. his pregnant wife um, mac and cheese and forgot the cheese sauce. Just mac. Mac and butter. The cheese powder. Just mac? It's it's just, mac so just mac. And yeah. Milk. <laughs> yeah. Pretty oh. much. Just butter Butter noodles. noodles. Yeah. Milky butter noodles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't think she has the right to not eat it. So she has the right to not eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine making mac and cheese and not tasting it. So yeah, as a like kid, you, I'm say. I didn't know any better, right. and I was a bottomless pit of <laughs> consumption. So I, I was just say you were a bottom. <laughs> I was. I discovered that's you know my dad taught me about that a little later in life. <laughs> At the time, I didn't know, but I would just eat all of it. I would eat the whole fucking turkey meatloaf. I would eat, you know, all of the swordfish, whatever. So I didn't really know that she wasn't a great cook until much later. And now, when she makes food, like I'm would, like, what? What you got going when there? When you go to like. Your friends' houses, were you like, you weren't like, you know, huh, this is something different? Or no, did just, I didn't, I didn't, they were have, all bad. <laughs> I didn't have the awareness to be like, this is better than this, or now that I've had yeah. this, this is bad. I was mm -hmm. just like, food is good. I like food. Yeah. I will eat it. Yeah. And then when I started cooking myself and stuff, I realized, oh, wow, she really was like struggling with this. And it was a challenge mm -hmm. for her, not only yeah. to come up with what to cook, but like actually cooking it. Oh, that would be hard having to come up with, I mean, really three meals a day, every day. Yeah. yeah. Like she, she loves, you know, breakfast for dinner, eggs, eggs and scrambled eggs with ham. That's fine. Sandwiches. She's pretty good at making sandwiches, but yeah, it was really the dinner where it's like, she's running the same like artist. three or four plays and that's about it. So, you know, mm. um, I didn't realize like, Cause I, well, kind of on what you were saying, like, uh, growing up, I was almost always pretty happy and, and loved my mom's cooking or when my dad would cook, like they're both, they both can, you know, get the job more than done. But, um, I didn't realize that they, like my mom was a good cook until I had my, my friend's parents cooking. Mm. And I'm like, oh, yeah. this Which was like, what, what age sucks. would you say you were like, oh, shit. I, I probably like noticed it, like probably like nine or 10 maybe mm. somewhere in that range. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, like yeah. I, and I remember one in particular just thinking like, I never want to go there for dinner. This is the yeah. worst. <laughs> like, oh my God. And he was like one of my best friends. So I was there all the time. Aww. It sucked. It yeah. sucked. But it made me appreciate my mom even more, you know? Yeah. 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 Shout out to the moms. Shout out to the moms providing Doing for it. their children. But moms the other thing momming. is, the other thing is like, she, she had no, ambitions or belief that she was good at it you know so like she, she wasn't requesting feedback either no, 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 no. <laughs> she but was like just it, getting by like if it are was you alive now, great if it's now she's like i'm i made this you know chicken thigh and cream of mushroom rice casserole and i'm like cool enjoy it <laughs> yeah <laughs> mom <laughs> good luck with that <laughs> but in terms of significant others you you say it's good and you eat it no matter how it tastes and no you then you're setting yourself and, up for a lifetime of misery or you, i, I mean it. the zach the zach approach is i was a know. decent cook i was like a solid cook before now i'm a good cook and i think better, it's because yeah. i had to like all right i <laughs> gotta really stretch, so i gotta i gotta open up this playbook like let's see what what i can do I mean, I'm I'm the Respect I'm the cook in, in my relationship as well. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's my girlfriend doesn't really like doing it, and that's really mm -hmm. more the yeah. the hold up, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I like doing it, man. I like I, it really has become like therapeutic yeah. for me. I just wish like I had a little there, more time prepping. to do it every day. Yeah, and it wasn't or someone like, to clean up. I, I also don't mind the cleanup. I don't mind it either. I don't mind the cleanup. Like, if I do clean like as doing... I go. Yeah, it's I was gonna say it's okay. I yeah, well, you know, I, I, go. I, yeah, I always, yeah, I always. Am. Well, you also need this counter space. <laughs> yeah, 
You probably don't have a lot of <laughs> room. Me? True, true, true. I got counters for days. I got I a long ass kitchen. No. I eat it. <laughs> Oh, no, Eden, yeah. She's no, so that, concerned she's, about how do I at, chop? How a, do I have three vegetables in something? Where am I going to put them? I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> He's podcasting from the kitchen counter right now. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually. Yeah. It's the, yeah, it just rotates. Then it's, New York Live. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, it's the Eden, kitchen table. Do you live is in, in New York? Yeah. <laughs> is that why? Is it city or state? Yeah, I live in New York, uh, the, the state. Yeah, up in Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Beep Count asks. Who is more annoying? Check out my bracket guy or check out my fantasy football team guy. Ooh, fantasy football team guy. Yeah, because that, yeah, that lasts yeah. longer. Yeah, because that lasts longer. And because like bracket, I feel like that's everyone's looking at the same one. Everyone's looking at the same bracket. Everyone like brackets in general. Yeah. Like you know what the same rules are. Like you don't have to be like PPR, non PPR. Try to understand their league rules for like whether their team is actually good or not. Which I would never do anyway because I'd just be like, wow, I just learned all these football players' names. Um, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> also brackets I mean, here. For bracket within three days. Yeah, sixty seventy percent yeah. yeah. of them are gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody's yeah. shooting well, no in the dark. Check them out anymore. Yeah, last night I was rooting for my bracket to get destroyed because I like I this Jack Golke guy for Oakland University. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, it was light up. I had Kentucky going yeah. pretty far, and I was like, I was loving it because I also like I just don't give a fuck, man. Like yeah. I I like filling out the bracket, and then I don't care if I win because it means nothing. It's yeah, it's just pure chaos. Like yeah. I just oh, yeah, with the fancy- shake up is more fun. With the fantasy football thing, like people be like, "Oh, I dominate my league," and I oh, look at my team and everything. And forever, I would like win our fantasy baseball league, like as a teenager and stuff with my friends. And it, and I'm just like, "Wow, I'm so good at this." And it turns out my friends were just idiots. Yeah, they were just really, really bad. <laughs> like I was just in a league with nine people who didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Yep. And so it made me feel like, "Oh, I'm so good at this." And then I would like listen to fantasy baseball podcasts or whatever, or fantasy, podcasts, and I'm like. I don't understand anything that they're talking about right now. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I like fantasy sports. And I like talking about fantasy sports. But 90% of the time when you talk to somebody else about fantasy sports, they only want to show you their team. Oh, my God. And that's it. And it's like, well, if, if if this player isn't on my team, then I don't care, you know? Blah, well, but blah, it's blah. just also like so hard to like actually give any sort of meaningful like not feedback, but just like meaningful response when you don't know like how the other teams are constructed. Like you only have insight into your league and your team. Mm-hmm. Right. Like that's just how fantasy basketball works. Like just looking at someone else's team without any other context for like what size the like you know just the rules who are the other people what are the other teams constructed like like there's not an actual like way like it just doesn't mean anything and that's why it's so much more fun to play underdogs fantasy sports oh thank god thank this way we we can all have a team together you know we don't have to do this is my team and this is eden's Mm -hmm. team you can go to underdogfantasy.com or you can find underdog fantasy sports in the app store. Use promo code DING, D I N G, to get your first deposit doubled up to $100. We can look at today's slate of basketball games. Let's do it. I'm and excited. And so, Zach, we got to go back to our man, the mattress man, DeAndre, DeAndre Ayton. Ayton. Yeah. DeAndre Ayton, who had been crushing it in March, took a nice. Big egg uh, against the thanks, Clippers this week. Thanks for nothing, you air mattress. Because dick. the thing we forgot to account for, despite the fact that he's getting good sleep, is that the is that he's still DeAndre Ayton got blown out by the Clippers, Destroyed. and my yeah. man DeAndre Ayton barely saw the court. Yeah, but luckily, luckily, they're playing him again. Okay, yeah, revenge. It's a revenge game. The mattress man himself dominating. We're getting back on the train. We're going. Yeah. DeAndre Ayton is getting higher than 0. .5 double doubles. We're yeah, throwing that. He's going to double double. Yeah. He's going to do it. Okay. We believe in 100%. DeAndre Ayton. Because he's dominating. So he's mm-hmm. dominating. Mm-hmm. Eden gets it. So the other just seven to, o'clock just games. Clarify, we're just going higher or lower. Higher or lower. Higher or lower. We're going individual players. 
I was going to ask Zach, do you feel like Tyrese Halliburton has, has turned the corner and, and broken out of his little slump here? He's playing the Warriors tonight. Oh man. Um, I, I don't, what, what's the number we've got 18.5 points. We could also throw in a double, double for him. I feel good about a double, double. I don't feel good about the points. What about 4.5 first quarter points? How do we feel about that? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I think he hits a three and he gets a bucket and we're good there. Yeah. So we'll, I feel good we'll about go that. Tyrese Halliburton higher on a double, double and higher on, Oh, we can only do one. So do you want, you'd rather prefer right, I, the double, I, double. Then. I feel better about the first quarter points. Can, can I ask a question that I like confuse me a little bit about the app? Please. Sure. So when it says like Tyrese Halliburton, 35.5 points plus rebounds, plus assists, what is the plus rebounds plus assists mean? All like, those, that he gets all those numbers together. So if he had, oh, if he had okay. 20 points, 10 assists, gotcha. eight rebounds, okay. yeah. or, or, or I higher. Think I think I read that as like 35, 33.5 points as one thing plus no, rebounds. No, 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 and so I was like, no. oh, I don't think he's going to score. I was like, well, how no, many you, rebounds, how many assists? Okay. No, so, that would be an insane number of rebounds. Yeah, I was like, yeah. mm -hmm. just, just, just wanted to clarify for, you know, yeah. me, you know, I knew what it meant, but just in case you someone knew. else did it. Just in yeah. case, just, just Katie, in case. Katie might not have Katie didn't know. Yeah. yeah, she like, yeah, she looks so confused there. All right, same game, same game. I'm going to throw this at you. Draymond Green, 7.5 points. I feel like Yo. that could be a lower because here's so his dicey. last here's his last five games, all right? Ten points, two points, six points, five points, and seven points. Here's the thing though. Indiana's got a real bad defense. That's real true. bad. Real, real bad. I think I like higher. Wow. Okay. All right. We are gonna go. You just gotta higher. get eight, right? What is it? Draymond, seven and a half? Seven yeah, point eight. five points. He's getting eight points. Come on. Uh, he's had a few where he's had like four or five. Like yeah. the, the, the Warriors this year have been like just so unpredictable when it comes to yeah. like numbers. So like it's been this, one of the most unpredictable teams for yeah. like this type of game. This has been, been recent. This has been this is more of a be, not believing in the Pacers defense than believing in <laughs> yeah. Draymond score. Yeah, yeah, this is that's yeah. fair. All right. And that right there, you've got the mattress man. Higher than a double double. He's gonna get a double double tonight. Tyree Halliburton higher than four point five first quarter points. And Draymond Green, we're saying Draymond is scoring tonight. And that is our combination. Underdogs fantasy of Friday. Oh, I'm so excited. We'll stay on the basketball tip. This is a this should be a quick one. Co <laughs> Q E A U X says in their prime, who's the better basketball player, Zach or Mays? Have you ever played each other in teams one on one, etc.? We've never played. We've never played. We have um, no cause so to for play. sure, Mays. No, I've no Mays. I don't know how good you are, but like I, I used to be really fucking good. In, like I, in your prime, I'm going Zach Harper. But yeah, this is this would be a contrast of styles. If we're playing one on one, yeah. it would be Zach taking a lot of jumpers and me trying to knock him down. And well, I'm also curious, <laughs> Mays, because like back, back, back him under the basket. But I think, but I actually think, like, because I got I got strong legs. Like, I think leverage wise, I could I could body you um, and keep you from getting as close to the basket as you would want. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying you couldn't score because I'm nice, not a I'm not great, nice but, but like, if it's just it's backing nice down. Words yeah, to, to say that and imagine that a strong that would be base. The case. I'm got curious though, base. Maze, like how much did you play after like high school and stuff? Because I feel, almost got the vibe that it was like you reluctantly played because you were tall. Picked up a camera. No, I, it you wasn't reluctant. Pictures. I liked, okay. I liked playing okay. basketball. <laughs> but I played intramural in college and I played a little bit of pickup in college and then pretty much I've, I've stopped playing, I would say. The last time I really remember like getting on the court was, was when, um, I worked out with Emeka Okafor and my job, I mean, my job was, yeah. my job was to building, tomahawk right? him as hard as I could and let him finish through contact. That was, fun, he's like, that's what, what he brought me to practice for. So, yeah. okay. so that was fun. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't think one-on-one -on -one, it's a toss up. Just like I said, contrast the styles. And if we were playing yeah. on teams, we wouldn't be guarding each other. So I don't No. 
I mean, I, I, I would watch I, a live stream of you guys going one on one. Great. I'm I'm sure there's a Patreon huge market content? for that. Loser, loser has to loser has to kiss the other. Loser has to <laughs> shave their facial hair and then kiss. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, yeah. I love that. I like that. Ooh. I that. <laughs> That's a high stake. Is that, yeah. is, is that Auckland guy? Is that how he played? Uh, he yeah. I mean, I like I I shoot a lot of threes. He, he, I saw I saw that he only scored like eight points in within within the true point zone all season. So it's all threes or nothing. I think he only took eight shots, eight two pointers. Oh, eight shots. Yeah, he only took eight two pointers. Yeah, he like yeah. it's it's crazy, just an absolute crazy way to play basketball. But yeah, that's I would say after like twenty four, twenty five years old, like I I kind of stopped attacking the basket and just just shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I stopped playing pickup basically after college just because at a certain point also, it's like when I was like shooting around, it's like kind of weird if like high school kids are like, hey, y'all, you want to jump in this game with us? I'm like, I'm a grown ass woman. Like, I'm I'm not going (laughs) to jump in into your pickup game. You guys are 16. Like, this is weird. This is this is weird. Like, just because I can shoot does not mean that it makes it socially acceptable for me to just jump into your pickup game. Teenagers. Yeah, that's weird. That is weird. (laughs) Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, staying on the maze themed questions. Oh, I love the maze themed questions. <laughs> one drunken <laughs> moose asks, Would you rather fight one maze sized duck good or a hundred qu- duck sized mazes? What a great question. <laughs> so I think I go for the, the, duck. the maze sized duck. Yeah. Um, Cause you just you got one target there right now. It's mm-hmm. that's a big fucking duck, giant but, duck, <laughs> but still a hundred little mazes on yeah, you. Like yeah, you're fighting, it's like that guy in Jurassic Park two with those little tiny dinosaurs all attacking. Oh. I'm not interested in that. Yeah, yeah, because you don't I'd want a one hundred target, hundred duck sized mazes working together. No, because you know? that's no. teamwork. You've got opposable thumbs. You've got dexterity. Oh you're exactly. communicating. Yeah, exactly. this is no. incredible knowledge of the combat arts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Follow up question though, Zach. Do you think you would be able to score against a maze sized duck maze-sized with duck. Those giant wings? I would turn that motherfucker into foie gras. Are you kidding me? A six seven duck? I can shoot over a Isn't six seven goose? duck. Get the fuck out of here! Literally, the wingspan would be a problem. Wings. Fuck that wingspan. I'm just like yeah, I'm literal just like, wings. I used to I used to play against this dude who's seven feet tall, like every almost every day. Like that dude, I can shoot over duck. him. I can shoot over a fucking six foot seven duck. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on! I got six foot seven duck. Let, come on, let's let, let, let's take shoot this, the, shoot let's the take duck. This, Let's take this six foot seven duck out to the deep end and see if that yeah. bitch still likes to swim. All right, let's see if that, <laughs> let's see if that six foot seven duck can move his feet. You know, yeah, he's duck footed. Yeah, it's duck food. That's right. <laughs> and dribbles with it's weak. Yeah. Well, right. oh. Fuck that thing dribbling. Like, come on. Yeah. Well, it's not playing offense. It's, I think Ian was just asking. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Plus, they don't. I don't think they move. What? Like, I could. I could toss it between its webbed feet. Cross it back over. This duck's on the ground. I don't know. Might just get you with that beak, like. I got attacked Ooh, by a goose foul. once. All right, put me at the line. I was That's attacked a by a goose, so I bet a duck could do similar damage. Oh, I was attacked by a by a swan at Versailles. Like attacked. a swan, a swan <laughs> at Versailles. What did you and do? It, like how? I like didn't do, I didn't do fucking shit. I, I didn't do shit. There, what were you wearing? At at a uh, I don't know, like regular ass clothes. I sat there with my girlfriend at the time. We're sitting at a fountain. And this thing comes up With and just starts, just like starts attacking to... me. Yeah, just starts like pecking at me and attack. I had to, and I literally like yeah. pushed this fucking swan off of me, and we got up and like walked away. <laughs> this thing is like just kind of attack, like trying to take my girl from me. Like, <laughs> yeah. you kidding me? That's so just you should Google what the inside of a goose's mouth looks like. It's terrifying. What? That sounds what? terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah. When anyone right, starts with you should Google what the inside <laughs> of looks yeah. like. Like it doesn't matter what that noun is coming up next. Like it's always no, a bad idea. <laughs> Lisa Vanderpump has swans and they attack people. Their names are Hanky and Panky. One of them's a, a black what swan. The fuck? Yep. Yep. 
Does it what? have like teeth inside? Like its the, tongue like, has teeth. Yeah. Why? Wait. Hold on. Huh? <laughs> it has two mouths. For, for what? Yep. All right. So Clay, Clay is joining us here. I, I gotta say, Clay, I misread your your message here because when you said the fresh tears of a sad UK fan, here I am, you know, brainwashed by Eden into thinking that that meant England. I thought you meant that too. Of course. Too. <laughs> Whoa. Of course. Yeah, let's talk about cake, guys. <laughs> so you were you're Where not from England. You are actually a Kentucky man. <laughs> is what's going That's on? That's right. Here. I'm a Kentucky man. I'm a blue person. Can't tell by the accent. Yeah. Which one he's yeah. which one he's from? Yeah. Is is that what yeah. y'all are actually called, Kentucky men? No. Kentucky That's the and... official nomenclature. Yes. Oh, okay. On the census. Yeah. You register as a Kentucky man. How many Kentucky yeah. men's? Uh... <laughs> yeah, last night was rough, man. It was fun. No, it was funny. What did I message you? Uh, the Chandler Bing of Oakland, Michigan. That is exactly oh. what you said. Yes. Rest in peace. Yeah, RIP there, um, <laughs> dude. That that was look. Uh, you know, thoughts and prayers for your Kentucky Wildcats. But I love watching. John Calafari lose. And I love watching him lose because he can't coach in a game, you know, not just because like, Oh, <laughs> yeah. a team's better. Like I don't it, it, equal talent. Not they lose. Not interested. He couldn't figure out that someone who has taken eight, two pointers and 373 pointers in this entire season. I don't know. Maybe deny him from the three point line. Maybe don't let him get open. Maybe just keep a guy on him and let your other four, you know, NBA prospects attack the non four NBA prospects. It's yeah, yeah, that works out. It was, it was frustrating. Like a little piece of me and like with uh, like three minutes left in the game, I was like, I kind of just want to turn on Nick's nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> like I, could, I the, just want to turn the, on the, literally anything else. Literally anything, anything else. else. Like anything. I just downloaded MLB the show yesterday. Like maybe I'll crank that up. I don't know. I hear it's yeah, great. It was, uh, yeah. It was uh, it was bad, but man, the tire fires that it started on message boards is just insanity. So do 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 Kentucky fans like want him gone? Yeah, yeah. I I, my, I thought he was going to retire. Anyway. Opinion, I've been of the opinion I don't want any. I I don't want to lose him unless it's Billy Donovan. Mm. Mm. Well, he might he might be available this summer. I think he yeah. was an assistant with Patino when he was here, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, today's been a tough, tough. Yeah, but it's that's the thing is like, I, who are you gonna get? That's the question that nobody seems to care about asking is who are you gonna get? Like, just go get Coach K fans. out of retirement. Yeah, <laughs> that dude is. <laughs> The, the, well, we have to ask the right questions. You're going to get Coach <laughs> K out of retirement. Uh, is there access to hair dye in Lexington? <laughs> and no, I mean, actually, like, there, a lot of it. Mm -mm. A, Do a lot Kentucky of men dye. subscribe to hair dye? Yeah. No. Absolutely <laughs> they, don't, not. They, don't, they don't buy a toupee and then hair dye it and then staple it to their head? All right. No, no Coach K then. Because I was thinking, like, we got some synergy with the letter K here going on. Oh, but... yeah. Uh, no, look well, at you, you, you just want to have Cal when he got here. Yeah. His hair was as dark as Zach's. Yeah, Zach product. No, man. I no, I got plenty of grays. You can't see, but I got I got so many grays in my head. Mm. Yeah, and especially in the beard too. Oh, you're so honest. Such an honest podcaster. Yeah. I also like yeah, I I stop. What about the pubes? I, I don't. <laughs> God uh, damn it! Never, Katie never grew one. No, not, nope, a, not one pube ever. Sprouted a, not a sprouted a single one. I like uh, how he talked about that, like it was a conscious choice. You know, never grew one. Yeah, he's he's never watered, got, he's he's never never got the pubes. Just never watered it. I'm a sports caster. Yeah, you're supposed to honest. wait. You're supposed to water it to Is grow. That? Well, you have to give it sunlight. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, like with your uh, your perineum, is that what yeah. it is? Uh, yeah, yeah you're supposed to get your butthole into the sun. Yeah. Get your yeah. get your yeah. asshole yeah. to the yeah. sun. Yeah. Um, Science. What were we talking it's crazy. about? <laughs> Solar eclipse. I don't understand why guys freak out about Here we go. having gray hair. I ne I've never understood that. Like I've it's had fine. grays since I was in my mid twenties. Like not a lot of them, but enough. 
I mean, like, what, Zach, people in general or men specifically? Men, men specifically. specifically. Women, I I understand that for women. I understand like okay. all that all that stuff that goes with it. There's, but like for men, much, I'm like, it makes you look better. There's a much like, higher beauty yeah. standard yeah. Yeah. and like it's constantly on the minds of women. But it's, the, the male vanity comes out in such specific yeah. ways. And it's almost always to do with the yeah. head yeah. and the mm -hmm. penis. And as oh. long as those Both two heads, areas oh, gotta, gotta water it, you know, those are the two gotta areas that it. can can emasculate a man, literally yeah. and figuratively. But gray hair is so easy to resolve. I mean, it's, I I can understand like a receding hairline being like, yeah, because there's no but, coming back from that. But yeah, yeah, but, but the gray, gray hair, hair though, from, from just you men. gotta catch it early. You've got to catch it early though, before a lot of people have seen it, before someone can point out that you fixed it. Yeah. Right. Isn't that the thing? And the, and the biggest worry with gray hair is about the transition, pubes. how quickly it happens, or where. Yeah, yeah pubes. Yeah. Mm hmm. God, just don't damn. go home again. Yeah. You're probably not dying oh your pubes. Oh my God, five dicks! Damn. <laughs> I'm surprised it took that long. But Zach, it's it's because people don't want to be perceived as getting said. old, right? Exactly. But you look, uh, you look more. You look it's the only thing that helps me look like. I might be mature. Is well, having your gray wrinkly hairs. face? Like, oh, I got good skin, baby. Are you that, kidding me? I got lotions. I got oh no, I've got collagen. a skincare. I got a. I got liquid collagen. Ten dollars off. DM me for that code. It sure, works. It also helps you make your hair fuller. But I kind of feel like I see what Zach is saying because, like, for example, it's like even just speaking societally, it's usually like like men don't get crap for having gray hair if anything it's like oh now that dude's like yeah. a silver fox like he looks Salt refined like, well, yeah. no 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 but you yeah. only get that if it's like all gray and no like, no no if it's peppered yeah. in no you if it's peppered in you get looking. it you get yeah, it, it. That, yeah. Katie, for sure. also we yeah, found our title we found our title <laughs> zach's a silver fox just quote <laughs> zach's a silver fox. um that wasn't actually said said that? That? <laughs> he just said it long way away Eden Zach's dad is a silver God, fox. Zach's a silver God, damn fox. It. Don't make me go back and now, listen to that. Now were there words There's around no that? that was yes. said. Yes. 100% she just said no. it. No. 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 I'm That's telling you. Too far. She said the word. She said, oh, if the, he has gray hair, then it's like, oh, Zach's a silver fox. That's literally what she said. Now she didn't. Okay. So it was an example of like, a theoretical. <laughs> Whatever. But the words were said. The words were said. It's a direct <sighs> quote. It could have been interpreted as such. Mailbag out of context. Not up to me. Mailbag out of context. The whole fucking mailbag's out of context. Wait, wait. Let me get chimpanzee as a silver fox. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Whose idea was chimpanzee on a bed of roses? Because that one made me uncomfortable when I was this catching one, up. This yeah. guy right here. Of course, it's all Zach. <laughs> be careful, yeah, Zach, because you know you might end up with. You might end up with a chimpanzee and a silver fox, or a chimpanzee That's what I'm worried about. and a yeah. silver back. You know what I'm Gotta watch let's out see for how that. good the generative AI is. Let's go. Let's yeah. see. Let's see. Yo, no, <laughs> no, they no. Get it? They no. get it? No, they get it? Hold on. Oh, you no, you guys I'm are gonna be upset. real impressed. You're gonna be real impressed. <laughs> no, I think Katie's gonna be turned on. Like if I know Katie, There's this always is. A chance. <laughs> Katie's like, I won't rule it out. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> oh God! What the hell? What? Is that the, the Dos Equis gotta, chimpanzee? Yeah, that, that's what it looks oh like, man. Yo, they nailed it. They nailed it. Oh. That's a nice suit. <laughs> oh, that's a gentleman. Is it a silver suit? Is that what happened? Yeah. No, I don't know. No, because it's got the gray goatee going. Like, no, something they nailed about, it, man. Something about the contouring in the face, too. Mm -hmm. Like, like the way the lighting is, like, giving it, like, a lot it. of structure. It's yeah. Really yeah. I don't like the forehead. It kind of like looks like out. a little a little bit to me. <laughs> I know he's way more attractive than this, but it looks a little bit like Javier Bardem to me, if I'm being honest. Okay. Like, it's, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, Mighty Joe Young, Disney movie qualifies. Oh, trust me, trust me. I'm pretty sure that qualifies, right? Yeah, that's, uh, it's 40% audience. I just looked it up. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's on the list. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you look up Jungle to Jungle real quick? See uh, where that falls? 
<laughs> Hold on, I go Mighty Joe Young. Right. I, I think I looked up Jungle the Jungle. It, yeah, Jungle the Jungle. Yep, qualifies. 19%. Yeah, 19%. Yeah. 19? Oh, double qualifier. Yeah. 19, yeah, 1 9. <laughs> Well, it wasn't going to be 90%, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> I think it should be. <laughs> Katie will ride for that part. movie in particular. Now, when I, I do rewatch it, is it going to be very problematic? Of course. Extremely. Extremely, <laughs> extremely problematic. Just the premise. <laughs> All right. Quick, well, quick yeah. final question before we go to the Patreon section, which we will have to get to when Zach comes back because he did tease a Patreon exclusive Sexy Johnny update, and then he has now run away to go make more chimp AIs. But Abuelo Mijo asks, honey or syrup or other? I've been liking this blue agave sweetener honey from Costco. Really good in oatmeal. I hate honey. For what? For uh, cereal, for sweet, pancake, I guess for generally sweetening. Drinks. Yeah, I think I it's, wouldn't use I think honey it's or in general. To sweeten something. I mean, I don't have either. Yeah, I, I, don't I either. the only time I get like sugary drinks now is like when I go to like a bubble tea place, and in that situation, yeah. it's like still only like thirty percent. I get like the lowest amount possible. This is my is this an age thing where it's just like because you know y'all know how like the older you get, the less you are likely to gravitate towards like sugary drinks. Yeah, I'm not into like like I don't like have sweets. like I used to have a sweet tooth. That it's kind of going. I used like, to be like frappuccino or like white yeah. chocolate oh, mocha. Yeah. Like you know, yeah, like yeah, I yeah. used to be mm-hmm. that girl that would get like the sweetest drink that didn't taste like coffee at too. all yeah. <laughs> at Starbucks and now yeah. I drink like black coffee yeah I, I mean don't... I... when I drink tea yeah I don't put Agafi. anything in it I'll take a coffee I've never yeah, really yeah. I've like put honey in tea but I'm not I hate the taste of honey thing. I'll make yeah, a honey, honey glazed honey salmon honey like I do that is, honey know? changes its taste the flavor profile yeah honey has yeah, its own it has a flavor and mm-hmm. I feel like honey is difficult rice. to what mix problem? in also. Like it's like almost like you have to do like oh, the hot water thing first to get it like really break yes. up yeah. and then mix it into the drink. Yes. So it's just like the fact that it doesn't it's hard to get it super even in whatever drink you're making. If you are making a drink, I can see it being a different case if you're like drizzling it over like ice cream or like pancakes yeah, sure. or something like Anton said. Like use case does matter, I think, in the situation. Let, let's just say what we're all thinking, okay? Honey can get over itself. Fuck I, honey. I, like yeah. it just yeah. like all right. Oh, I'm so hard to get out of the jar. Like get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> and even with the squeeze bottle, it always ends up with the honey caked around it. Like yeah. and then it's like oh impossible to God, open. That, like yeah. there's Look, not like an actual. No, now, good the, now way there's to a fucking honey. like block. They blockaded the door. To, you know, with the squeeze bottle. Like you've got to you got to get a SWAT team in there <laughs> yeah. just to get the exactly. honey out. Like, Winnie's the poo made it look so easy. Oh. Just. Scooping it out. Oh, yeah. He doesn't have to wear pants, but I do. Sure. Yeah. Let's yeah. just bear dicks it looks everywhere. It's so easy to just pick up honey with your hand and shove it into your mouth. And it's exactly. Yeah. Now, as an honest podcaster, mm. I would think that you would appreciate the product of bees that are incapable of lying and that they've worked hard their whole lives. Bees don't lie. <laughs> And that's why honey <laughs> is the only honest syrup on the market. And that's why you should support it as an honest podcaster. As someone who's going to Toronto soon, let me tell you, maple syrup, that's the only way to go. Yeah. I Soften support that the landing bees. into Toronto. Just be like, I've, I've mm. been a, a syrup man all the way. I love my yeah. maples. I've always been a syrup man. I love when my moose. To mm-hmm. Toronto, my don't you just like take your own tap and like plug it into a tree and that's how you get That's what I'm doing. Yeah. That's why I'm going. Yeah. Hundred percent. Love that. It's a good sweet, a sweet salty combination though on a buttered biscuit with some syrup or with some honey. I like a hot honey on that in that situation. Yeah. I like a hot honey. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I don't well, mind that. Where does hot honey factor in? Because I feel like I, that's its own thing. It's its own thing. Yeah. No, I but it's mean, does no. that, does that hot, sweat, hot, so I'm kind of over it on pizza. I, I don't like it on pizza. Yeah, yeah. 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 We've done. It's been over the last three years on pizza. Like it can. No, 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 no. That's going too far. Also, a honey packet, like they have ketchup packets or mustard packets. What honey pack? Oh my god! Why is it sticky on the outside? No matter what. No matter what. 
It's all they're always sticky on the outside. What's not sticky on the outside is the Patreon segment, which is coming. Uh, my, it will be. My transitions are not. No, not you, it's all right. You, you've today. already done two pods who today. What is that noise? Yeah, thank you. Who is cooking? Yeah, is cooking? Stop. <laughs> Anton, what are you doing, dude? God. Uh, got one of those tech uh, water water bottle, like, what are you like trying dog? to eat a snack to stay awake at three yeah, in the morning? Like you were like crumble like a, a chip bag and just like doing it right. I, right thought, he was, I thought he had one of those like little mini skateboards you had for your fingers. He's just yeah. doing fucking ollies tech, and shit. Baby. Uh, yeah. Tech, yeah, crooked grinds all day. But we are gonna go to the Patreon now. Yep, it's still still the the Come Does on. It pick it up? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's called the mute button, Anton. It's you the never, loudest thing. It's louder than your voice. Thing. If you yeah. want to eat, Anton you has to do the rest like this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We got to know that he's being honest with his lack of snack consumption. But we are going to throw to the Patreon now. Patreon.com slash count the dings. If you want to hear about sexy Johnny and other and you things. Want, you want to hear about sexy Johnny. 